Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Matt 95 Place here again, and today um, I will help you guys in rendering faster, like your videos on Sony Vegas Pro 14 faster, and how to enable G uh, rendering with your GPU, which is way faster than with your CPU, uh, and how to activate CUDA settings pretty much. And uh, I'll have this Rocket League video I'm editing right here up soon. It's a funny moments thing. But in the meantime, I just thought that a lot of you have been um, looking around the internet asking how to render fast, and that's always the biggest issue. So, um, yeah. So this is how I rend I would usually render a video. I would um, go to File, go to Render As, and you know, um, I suggest you look for, uh, Just I'm just waiting for it to load up. I'm just... And then you want to scroll down from wherever you are and find Sony AVC M AVC MVC. It's for uh, MP4, M2TS, and AVC files. And you want to click that little arrow, the drop down. And you want to click the first one. Go to customize template. And then here you can change whatever you want. And I suggest sticking to the AVC video format. Um, you can change your high definition, frame size, you know. And uh, you can also change your name up here and save it as like your favorite just so it's easier. Uh, profile you want to keep high. Intro, uh, the coding entropy, um, KVAC frame rate, you want to change that to 60. It depends on what you're running, obviously. And I already have encode mode, so I can do render using GPU if available. But some of you guys might not actually have that. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so yeah, and then other than that, you don't really have to worry about it. Audio, just put your sample rate to what you have, and yeah, then just, you can check GPU, you can do all this stuff when you enable, uh, oh yeah, video rendering quality, you want to do this at best as well, just saying, um, so yeah, uh, so if you don't have that coding method, uh, or like the or sorry rendering method um, you want to go to options and you want to scroll down to preferences but you don't want to click that you want to shift click it and it'll bring up um, these uh, settings for for newer people on the new like if you recently got Sony Vegas the GPU thing things should be um, in general preferences so you just scroll down looking for that and here you can enable whatever you want and uh, disable so I just keep mine default for now. Like I don't really mess with them because I don't really need to yet. But if you don't find it, you want to go to internal, and this is pretty much the whole code for Sony Vegas. It just scrolls down for ages. So you want to type in GPU in where it says show only prefs containing, and um, then you should see allowed GPU rendering and. It, it if you if it doesn't show up in the render page, it probably set will say false, and so you see defaults false. Then you would just double click it and in all caps turn it to true, and uh, when you finish that, click apply OK. Then you want to restart your program, go back to render as, go back to the uh, Sony MVC AVC thing. Go to internet, I'll just start that just so it's easier and you know, customize template. And when you customize template, it, w it will say render using GPU if available or it'll say render using GPU CUDA I think. And that's like pretty much just your GPU. So if you render with your CPU only, it'll probably take around 40 minutes for a 10 minute clip. But um, if you use GPU only, it'll actually take like 20 minutes. Or faster even depending on how good your computer is so that's how you render videos faster and with the GPU instead of uh, the default um, I hope you found this helpful and if you did um, drop a like down below comment what tutorial I want to see next on Sony Vegas Pro 14 and um, thank you I'll see you all soon